Amen. And I want some souls to go to heaven with me. God, How many want to take someone? How many want to take a whole lot of someone to heaven with you? Amen. I want to help you tonight. Hallelujah. If I, if I can, praise God. Hallelujah. Would you turn with me tonight? Amen. And I want to just, uh, amen, for just the next few moments. Hallelujah. Amen. First Corinthians. Hallelujah. Corinthians, the first chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for every, everyone that is in the house of the Lord tonight. God has something for us. Hallelujah. Amen. And let's read from this first letter of Corinthians. Hallelujah. Take the words of the Lord and to heart tonight. Amen. Let's allow the Lord to personally speak to us. Hallelujah. Let's begin with verse 17. Paul was stating here and we might establish the reason for this statement here in a few moments. Amen. But Paul said, for Christ sent me not to baptize hallelujah but to preach the gospel amen not with wisdom of words lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect he was saying I don't want to I don't want you to be distracted by a man intellect I want you to see the cross amen praise God for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us, God wants you to be a part of the us of the Bible. Which are saved, it is, the cross is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Hallelujah. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. And we live in a world just like that today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Amen. And then he goes in to show, hallelujah, amen, our calling, not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty. Then say, not any, not many. Not many noble are called, but God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen. Ye and things which are not to bring to naught or to nothing things that are. Why? That no flesh should glory in his presence. The wise man should not glory in his wisdom. The mighty man to glory in his mind. Hallelujah. But we do have a reason to glory. Hallelujah. But of them, amen, are ye in Christ Jesus, for God has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. He purchased us, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And I want to preach tonight from, hallelujah, these verses. Hallelujah. And we have, hallelujah, we have the greatest message that this world needs to hear, and that's Christ crucified. Because through Christ crucified, hallelujah, every blessing. Every gift, hallelujah, every every healing, everything that was promised to the church was purchased by the sacrifice 
of Jesus for your life at Calvary. Hallelujah. Jesus, if you can receive this, Jesus saw you, hallelujah, from the cross. Knowing the God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Amen. And I want to preach tonight a God, hallelujah, that had us on his mind. Amen. For the joy that was set before him endured the cross is what the scripture says in Hebrews. He saw the church. He saw people that were once addicts, that were once bound by sin, enjoying the glorious liberty that we have seen demonstrated, hallelujah, in the house of God tonight. Hallelujah. That's why he endured the cross. That's why he endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of the joy that was set before him. Hallelujah. And willing to pay the price for it. Oh, let's praise God. Hallelujah. For paying the price for this church service. Hallelujah. For our admission to heaven. Hallelujah. For everything that we could ever have in him. Hallelujah. The promises of God that are given, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the redemptive power of the cross of Jesus. God, I need you tonight. This people need you tonight. Master, Lord God, touch our hearts. Touch our spirits, oh God. We need you, Jesus. God, there is so much. Hallelujah. Fear. Hallelujah. Amen. There is so much peace, oh so God, that need this eternal touch. God, if there be someone that is hungry, someone that is thirsty, willing to press through, hallelujah, and obtain more, God, what you have purchased, hallelujah, for each and every one of our souls in Calvary. And we thank you, God, for all that you have done thus far and will continue to do. And the church said in Jesus Christ's name. And then we praise the Lord one more time this week. Let us get into it. I love you. I love you. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you for standing in honor to the word of the Lord and you may be seated. Amen. This evening. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. In our text this evening, Amen. In this letter, hallelujah, to Corinth, amen, Paul states in the 17th verse something that was important for that generation and our generation to understand, hallelujah, because prior to Paul's, amen, amen, time and calling, hallelujah, was a man by the name of John the Baptist. And John the Baptist had one, amen, purpose, hallelujah, in his ministry. Hallelujah. He was to baptize people, hallelujah, amen, for unto repentance, amen, pointing them unto Jesus. And it was this messenger, John the Baptist, amen, that one day saw Jesus coming, praise God, hallelujah. Amen. And out of the hundreds, yea, thousands, perhaps, I don't know. Hallelujah. It said all Judea came out, amen, to hear and to be baptized of John. Hallelujah. Amen. But somehow, hallelujah, amen, God, hallelujah, had given John, hallelujah, the sign that this is the one, amen, that is going to take away the sins of the world. And it was John that heralded, hallelujah, and introduced that day, amen, a man that approached the water, hallelujah, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world, hallelujah, amen, that was Jesus, amen, John was sent to baptize, and, and Paul said, I'm not come, hallelujah, because John could only give you baptism. But I'm going to preach the whole gospel because, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, purchased at Calvary. We preach the cross, hallelujah. He couldn't preach the cross because Jesus hadn't went to the cross. He couldn't preach
preach the power of the cross, but he can preach that this one man, hallelujah, has flowing within his veins, amen, five quarts of not just ordinary blood, hallelujah, Jesus represented, hallelujah, the sacrifice that would take and have the power to take away the sins of the entire world, hallelujah, in the Old Testament economy, hallelujah, it took a lamb for a house, because it was the lamb of animals, and then a lamb for a nation, but when you understand that every human being that has ever been born, hallelujah, amen, and especially in our New Testament, amen, after Pentecost and after the cross, within Jesus, hallelujah, and the power of his blood is the power to wash away, hallelujah, amen, billions of people's sins, hallelujah. The magnitude of this, hallelujah, becomes perplexing when one contemplates of how much sin, hallelujah, this world could actually produce, hallelujah. But true to the saying, this is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the entire world, hallelujah. In 1 Kings 8, amen, when Solomon, hallelujah, dedicated the temple, and in 2 Chronicles 5 and 6, it established it almost with the same words, saying, hallelujah, that you could not number the sheep, hallelujah, and the sacrifices, they could not be numbered from multitude, hallelujah, amen, because, hallelujah, God was pleased with that, hallelujah, in so much that the priests could not stand to minister, they were dead dedicating the temple of God. And can I tell you, it pointed to you dedicating this temple to God. Hallelujah. And all the blood of millions of goats. Hallelujah. And then for sin offering and sheep for trespass offering. Hallelujah. It takes blood to redeem. Hallelujah. A human soul. And not the blood of an animal, but the blood of God himself. God was manifest in the flesh. God became, hallelujah, the sacrifice, hallelujah, for humanity's sin, hallelujah, amen, when we read in the book of Revelation, hallelujah, it was not an afterthought, hallelujah, amen, but in Revelation chapter 5, hallelujah, and Revelation chapter 13, amen, it points to Jesus as being the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. Before a man was created, before Adam and Eve fell in the garden and consequently passed sin upon all men, hallelujah, amen, God had a plan to redeem and restore fellowship, hallelujah, of God and man together. There's no other way, hallelujah, amen. Praise God from the skins, hallelujah, of Adam and Eve's life, from slain animals, it pointed to Jesus. Abel sacrifice of the lamb, it pointed to Jesus. When Noah got off of the ark, hallelujah, and he sent up a sacrifice from some of the animals that were clean on the ark, hallelujah, it pointed to Jesus. Hallelujah. From Abraham's, hallelujah, sacrifices and purchasing the wells of water in the promised land. Hallelujah. The well of the seventh-fold earth. He took seven lambs, a perfect sacrifice, so that there could be water for his family and children. Can I tell you, when I'm speaking of water in Abraham's day, it pointed to living water in our day. It pointed to the Holy Ghost, and it pointed to a perfect sacrifice. Hallelujah. When we worship, amen, the preaching of the cross, hallelujah, is the power to save. It's the wisdom of God, hallelujah, to take someone, hallelujah, amen, and I was thinking this evening, amen, as one often does when they ponder the scriptures, hallelujah, but in the time, amen, of the aforementioned sacrifice and dedication of the temple, it was the most beautiful temple, amen, hallelujah, the queen of Sheba came 800 miles, amen, to be in just a few services. She left the wealth of her kingdom, 
Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody had witness to her. Hallelujah. About the glory of the temple. Amen. They literally had silver stones in the road. Hallelujah. That led, amen, to the entrance of the house of God. Silver, amen, is the metal of redemption. Silver, hallelujah, was, amen, the metallic, hallelujah, that was used, amen, for the trumpets, amen, because it sounded redemption. Hallelujah. Amen. But in, hallelujah, in this, when you look at this particular setting of scripture, I noticed this tonight, amen. Hallelujah, they were dedicating the temple and Solomon was bringing the Ark of the Covenant, amen, from the tent and the curtain and the badger skins into this glorious temple. And I noticed this once again in the Bible. It said the only thing, hallelujah, inside of the Ark of the Covenant was the tablets of stone. If you have read the Bible, hallelujah, the pot of manna was there. Hallelujah, the Aaron rod, that button was there. And the tables of stone should have been there. But I'm telling you, when Jesus came, hallelujah, it was more than hallelujah, the word of God written on stone. It was the word made flesh. And this tabernacle had the miraculous. He was the bread of life. Hallelujah. He was the redemptive plan. He was the high priest. He was the one that pitched his tent among us. Hallelujah. And it pitched the death for every one of us. Hallelujah. Can I tell you if you receive it, he defeated, hallelujah, amen, Satan for every one of us. Hallelujah. He came to destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. He came to defeat sin, and he did. He came to conquer sickness, and he did. He came to redeem humanity, and he did. He came to fill humanity with his Holy Ghost. But there it took the purchase, the purse, hallelujah, he could not give the gift until, hallelujah, God was satisfied. Because there had to be a substitute. In the doctrine of the Old Testament, you brought a lamb. You brought a ram. You brought an oxen. Out for your poor, you brought turtle doves. Hallelujah. God wanted everybody to come. Amen. But there was a common thread for everyone to come. It took blood. I said it took blood. In the Old Testament economy, and you can read it in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 9, when Moses had spoken every precept, to all the people. He took the blood, hallelujah, and he sprinkled both the tabernacle and all the people, saying, this is the blood which God hath enjoined unto you. And almost all things are by the Old Testament purged with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Hallelujah. Moses took the blood, and he put it on all of the people. He put it on the book. He put it on the house. He put it everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this is a blood box church. Hallelujah. This is a blood box book. Hallelujah. This is a blood covenant. Amen. He reads those on the say, This is the blood of an everlasting covenant. The blood will never lose its power. And I feel like adding this right now. Hallelujah. In the book of Revelation, chapter number 7 and 13. This is a heavenly scene. The church has been raptured, has been caught away, and John the Revelator sees this great multitude of people. No tears on their face. Amen. And their robes are washed. Hallelujah. Amen. And they're in this glistening white. And the 13 verses said, What of these which were arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? Hallelujah. And the answer was, These are they which came out of great tribulation. Hallelujah. I don't care what kind of trouble you've got to go through. There's a day of coming out of that trouble and into the glorious liberty and place called heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the world, you're going to have tribulation. You're going to have trouble with or without God. You need God that will help you go through. Man, one of the women is a few days ago. Hallelujah. Nobody escapes trouble. But it's better to have God go with you in this. Hallelujah. And have washed their robes. 
Hallelujah. And made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Jesus' cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Was to purchase. Amen. The attire. The robe for every one of us. Not a temporal covering. Hallelujah. But something that we will wear forever and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that robe is never going to lose its shine. It's never going to lose its There's power in the blood. I say there's power in the blood. If you want to be a part of this multitude, hallelujah, worship in God forever. Hallelujah. Amen. I've got the answer for your soul tonight. If you arise and be baptized and wash away your sins in the blood of this crucified lamb, of this sin offering for the human soul. Hallelujah. Amen. And Paul said, I'm not coming just to preach. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baptism. But I'm coming to preach the whole gospel. Because the whole gospel is repentance. Amen. Baptism in Jesus' name. Full of the remission of sin. Hallelujah. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We've got something better than John. If John had it, he would have given it. Hallelujah. Praise God. But he didn't send us just to baptize. Because after baptism, hallelujah, comes the resurrection. After the burial of Jesus was the proof of the acceptance of the sacrifice. What is the proof? The proof is you and I receiving the Holy Ghost. Speaking the other tongue. That shows that he's alive and well. And where is he going? And then the tabernacle of God is with man. So this is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, I will put my laws in their heart. Hallelujah. In their minds will I and I will walk in them and dwell in them. Hallelujah. How does God do that? He washes us. He cleanses the cup. And then he fills the cup with his glorious Holy Ghost. Yea, living water. Yea, rivers of living water. Let's clap our hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Jews require a sign. Amen. There are sign seekers in this world. Right. We need to be word seekers. Right. Yes. I said we need to be word seekers. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Greeks seek after wisdom. Amen. But the Bible says the world by wisdom knew not God. Hallelujah. You can you can see how hallelujah glorious and powerful God is by looking at the sun and the creation of God. Hallelujah. But you need a preacher to tell you what he did for your salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And then the world by wisdom. Amen. You can look at a lot of things. You can read a lot of books about God. But the greatest book you can read is the Bible. Amen. I say it's the Bible. Because there's one author of this book. And his name is Jesus. And not only is the author of the book, he's the author of your salvation. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews 2 and 9 says, But we see Jesus, who is crowned with glory and honor. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the garden, praise God. Amen. He accepted that cup for you and I. Hallelujah. He became the substitute. Hallelujah. So that we, hallelujah, could be saved. Amen. I'm telling you, that's the greatest news that a human soul could ever receive. Amen. We don't need more wisdom. Hallelujah. We need more power. We need an experience in God. Hallelujah. It's not just what you know, but it's what you do with what you know. It's not just faith, but it's faith with works. It's not just belief, but it's what you do with what you believe. And God wants to give you power. He wants to work in you to build and to do His good pleasure. Amen. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. I want to take you, yeah. amen, quickly. Hallelujah to, amen. Hallelujah, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27. Amen. Hallelujah, at the cross. Amen. For Pilate's hall, the Bible said, they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And they planted a crown of thorns and they put it upon his head. 
and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, or worship, King of the Jews. And they stood upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, there's a merciful God represented here. Because I believe that they didn't know who this man was. And the capability and potential of this man. That even in the garden, when they came after him, they said, Hey man, whom seek ye? And he said, Jesus of Nazareth. And he said, I am he. And the whole crowd fell backward. Hallelujah. At the spoken word of God. Hallelujah. Why didn't he do it then? He was on the way to redeem us. He was coming to purchase a church. Hallelujah. Amen. And then to this end came he into the world. Hallelujah. God came, hallelujah, to save us from our sin. To be the redemptive lamb, the substitute, hallelujah, and then for our souls. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And with this we see, hallelujah. Amen. If we can reflect and look back, there was a writer in the Old Testament by the name of Isaiah. Hallelujah, that stated this in the 53rd chapter. Amen. It said, For who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Amen. It said, When we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He came into his own people. And instead of asking the release, hallelujah, amen, as the custom was of the prisoner, where did they get that custom? Hallelujah, they carried it from the Passover, where God personally released the prisoners, hallelujah. And here was their ancestors, hallelujah, having the power to release Jesus, hallelujah, that God, hallelujah, was come, hallelujah, to set the prisoner free. It was their custom and they asked, hallelujah, for a thief instead of the Christ. Amen. And he said, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. Hallelujah. He was despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. We hear as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. All of the disciples fled except for John and the mother of Jesus. They were the only companions at the cross beside the Roman centurion. All others stood afar from this because he was the one that healed the sick, that raised the dead, that made these promises. But now here he was, and it seemingly powerless on the cross in the hands of his own creation. Hallelujah. Amen. That he had a purpose. It took a hallelujah. Nothing it took the love of God to do that for you and I. Hallelujah. No greater love has any man than this. That one would lay down his life for his friend. You can't find a friend that would lay down their life so you can live. But you can find a friend in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He was a man of sorrows. So he could be the greatest ever do. You never know. Hallelujah. He was acquainted with grief. So he could be the God of your consolation. Hallelujah. He was stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Amen. He was wounded for our transgressions. Amen. They wounded our Savior because of my sin, because of your sin. Amen. Because he came to save his people from the greatest enemy. Amen. In our nature, which is sin. Hallelujah. The wage of sin is death. But the giver of life, hallelujah, was going to give, hallelujah, his blood. Because there is an Old Testament law that the life of the flesh is in the blood. Hallelujah. How healthy you are is largely determined, amen, on, amen, the health of your blood. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Praise God. When you get a blood disease, it's one of the worst diseases because your blood cycles through the body about twice a minute. Hallelujah. And blood diseases, amen, circulate and go through every fiber, every vein. Hallelujah. Amen. God's got the answer for sin. He's got the answer for disease. It's the blood of Jesus. I said it's the blood of Jesus. We preach Christ crucified. The name that perishes through us. But I've been healed by the blood. I've been washed in the blood. I received the Holy Ghost because there was a man slain before I ever knew him. Before he was ever preached to me. He took the price of his blood. Amen. To purchase. Amen. The human soul. He was wounded. Amen. For your transgressions. Hallelujah. For your partying. For your drunkenness. For your evil thoughts. For your lying. For your fornication. For your stealing. Hallelujah. Amen. For all of the debauchery of humanity. Hallelujah. He died for every one of those sins. Before you knew him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He waited patiently. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Hallelujah. And with his stripes, we were healed. Hallelujah. As they took the cat of nine tails. Hallelujah. And when they chastened him. Hallelujah. Amen. They laid the stripes upon his back. Hallelujah. Amen. And he, amen. Hallelujah. And do it. Because he wanted us to have the promise of healing. Hallelujah. When you get anointed with oil in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By his stripes, you can have the promise of healing. There's healing for your body. And there's salvation for your soul. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The only capacity. Hallelujah. Amen. Sacrifice called the Lamb of God. Amen. He was wounded. For us all. He was wounded for the wounded. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He was chastened for people that would come to the house of God confused. Hallelujah. Looking for direction. Looking for peace and finding. You can find the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus tonight. Amen. The Bible says all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Amen. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shears is done. So he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? Who shall declare it's the blood that's crying to the human soul as the answer for the covering? Hallelujah. Amen. How is that blood applied through water baptism? It's that simple. Hallelujah. That's the power of the cross. He made it so everybody could do it. Hallelujah. You don't have to have a college degree. You don't have to have anything. Hallelujah. But faith that he died for you. He was wounded for my transgression. He stayed on the cross and died so I could live. Hallelujah. Amen. We must believe and be baptized to be saved. Hallelujah. He was taken from prison and from judgment. For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Made his grave with the wicked. And with the rich in his death. As you can read in the New Testament. Two of the wealthiest men of Jerusalem. Amen. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus. Both offered their tombs. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let me tell you, God is still looking for somebody to say, Lord, hallelujah. Amen. I'll offer you my grave if you'll give me yours. Hallelujah. Because his grave is empty. Hallelujah. You know what that means? Hallelujah. If you do have to 
the dirt and pee in the grave. Your grave is going to be empty when you come. If you're baptized in Jesus' name, if you're filled with the same spirit that raised the Christ from the dead, you had pleased the Lord to bruise him. You had put him to grief. Well, now shall it make his soul an offering for sin. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse number 12. Amen. He was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many. And made intercession for the transgressors. As we stand tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't preach a flowery message. But I preach a much needed message to a world. Hallelujah. There's a cross. Hallelujah. I said there's a cross that we can look back to. Amen. And the one on that cross, amen, was God himself. Hallelujah. To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Amen. On that day, amen, there was a thief on the right hand and a thief on the left hand. Amen. They were both given the same opportunity to appeal to this one in the middle. Hallelujah. The one that wasn't hurling insults at the, at the Romans and the tormentors. Hallelujah. And the cheering crowd. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But one of them, amen, looked over at the, his companion and he said, we're here because of what we did. Amen. But this one has done no wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And he looked at Jesus that day. Amen. And this is before Pentecost. I said this is before the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. In his, in his last moments, in the most painful moments of his life, he looked across at that cross and he said, Lord, remember me. Hallelujah. And Jesus said this day, hallelujah. Can I tell you, amen, everybody is given the same opportunity tonight. Everyone is given an equal chance. Everyone is hearing about the power of the cross. Hallelujah. Under the sound of my voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And God wants to offer to you, amen, amen, hallelujah, salvation that he purchased for you. Amen. Without him, there's no covering for your soul. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that we are bought with a price in Corinthians chapter 6 and in Corinthians 7. For you are bought with a price. Hallelujah. That price is his blood. He bore your sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Not so we can live in the way we wanted to live, but it purchased freedom and liberty from sin. Hallelujah. For the baptism of the Holy Ghost and the application of that precious blood. Hallelujah. One thief, hallelujah, made it the other. Hallelujah. Though he was so close and had the same opportunity, he may not have taken advantage. Hallelujah. At the most critical, hallelujah, moment in life. And God put them there to show us we're all given the same equal chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want salvation, amen. If you'll come to this altar, if you'll come to this altar which represents the cross and confess your sin to God, you don't have to talk to anyone else. God will graciously forgive you. Hallelujah. If you ask him to come inside of you, he'll give you power you never knew. If you're tired of carrying your own guilt and condemnation, hallelujah, he'll wash it away. Yes, it's so simple. Some of you, some of you, this picture tonight, hallelujah, he'll wash it away. 
Thank <laughs> you.